What happens when a brand proudly calls its phone the most durable foldable ever, but it literally catches fire during a test? That's exactly what just happened with Google's new Pixel 10 Pro Fold, YouTuber Zach Nelson. The man behind the famous Jerry Rig Everything channel put the Pixel 10 Pro Fold through his usual durability tests. Now, if you've seen his videos before, you know the drill. Scratch, burn, bend. But this time, something unexpected happened. When Zach tried bending the Pixel 10 Pro Fold, the phone didn't just snap. Its battery exploded. Yes, actually caught fire on camera. This was the first ever battery explosion in the 10-year history of Jerry Rig Everything's durability tests. Over the years, Nelson has tested almost every major smartphone out there, from iPhones and Galaxies to OnePluses and previous Pixels, but never before had one literally burst into flames. So, what went wrong here? Let's start with the basics. Google marketed the Pixel 10 Pro Fold as its toughest foldable yet, with an IP68 rating for water and dust resistance, a stronger hinge, and a bigger battery that supports QI2 wireless charging. On paper, it looked like a major step up from the older Pixel Fold models, but all those promises went up in smoke during the bend test. When Nelson applied pressure to the phone, it cracked right at one of its antenna lines, the same weak spot he had warned Google about in its previous foldable models. That tiny snap damaged the battery inside, causing a short circuit and triggering what he described as an intense thermal reaction. In simple words, the battery couldn't handle the stress, and it burst into flames. Zach compared this flaw to the famous Death Star exhaust port, saying Google has built three generations of foldables with the exact same weakness. It's almost as if they ignored all the feedback from the earlier models, and the result was, well, explosive. The audience response says it all. When asked whether this is a serious problem for Google, Nearly 66% of voters said, of course, that looks very dangerous. Around 8% thought it might be just a faulty unit. And about 25% said no one bends their phone that way anyway. And while it's true that no average user is going to bend their phone in half on purpose, the issue still raises concerns about build quality and battery safety. A phone that snaps so easily during a stress test might not explode in your pocket, but it does make you wonder what would happen if it were accidentally crushed or twisted. But that's not all. Beyond the battery failure, the Pixel 10 Pro Fold didn't even live up to its water and dust protection claims. Despite its IP68 rating, it failed the sand test. Tiny particles got inside the hinge, creating crunching noises whenever the phone was opened or closed. Nelson even suggested that maybe only the display part is actually dustproof, not the hinge itself. And then came the harsh verdict. Zach Nelson said, Having the audacity to call the Pixel 10 Pro Fold extremely durable is an insult to tech enthusiasts everywhere. He called it, by far the weakest folding phone I've ever tested. For comparison, Samsung's Galaxy Z Fold 7, which isn't even dustproof, survived the same sand test and bend test with no major issues. Its hinge stayed clean, and the phone didn't crack or catch fire. So what does all this mean for Google? In reality, this incident doesn't mean thousands of Pixel 10 Pro Folds are going to explode. Durability tests are designed to push devices beyond normal use. But it's still a warning sign, a reminder that Google has ignored a known design flaw for too long. When smartphone designs start compromising safety, it's no longer about aesthetics or innovation. It's about trust. And right now, Google's foldable line might have just lost a bit of that trust. Hopefully, this serves as a wake-up call. If Google wants to compete seriously with Samsung and others in the foldable market, it needs to rethink its priorities, not just in marketing claims, but in real-world durability. So what do you think? Would you still buy a Pixel Fold after watching it catch fire on camera? Or is this a deal-breaker for you? Let me know your thoughts below. And if you found this breakdown useful, make sure to like this video and subscribe for more updates on what's really happening in the tech world.